Welcome back to Vintage Story. This is Lone Wolf. Uh, and we are playing Vintage Story on the newest server on our Fury. It's called the Riverlands server. It's a special server that was created for uh, a community college gaming group that our Fury is. Uh, Is this a lake? Yeah, is it it's it's sponsoring it. Right, one, two, three. And they're also hosting the game for them, so a a big kindness. Oh, did I leave my uh I did, I left my I left my ore back at base because I didn't have a raft. But when it comes to... Uh, wolf, grab the right dang thing. Thank you. When it comes to traveling on open water, not necessarily on the rivers, but yes, on the rivers too. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I I I'm unclear where I'm supposed to aim cuz half the time when I place this it acts like it's on the dirt. Yeah. Like just now it's acting like it's on the dirt. So I gotta place it out farther than I think I do. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm in uh, in the ocean. Yeah. So I could ride the water all the way up to here, and then I could ford that, and I don't know. Let's just go. I don't need to run into the bald cypress. Do I have any food? I have absolutely no food on me. Oh well. The good news is that riding the raft doesn't take a lot of... really doesn't take a lot of food. So I guess that's one thing. So you control the raft by A and D to go left or right. You think, oh, well, I've turned. No, you haven't turned. You've done. You've done no such thing as turn like turning. So I have not done this before. I have, I ha I came over here and I got in the water and I came this way. But I have not gotten in the water and gone this way. But some of the terrain around here is pretty gnarly. So being in the water is not a bad place to be. Being in a river is great if it's going the direction you want to go. But this last time I was in it on my raft, I got off my raft and my raft just floated down the river and I assume it despawned somewhere I have no idea all I know is it goes a lot faster than I can on the river which is not a surprise so this is the third day that I'm playing on the server this is the fourth day that the server's been up. So. 
and uh, yesterday Shanton joined and we'll be playing sharing a base together which we're both happy about and I think we have a spectacular view if you watch the previous episode you've seen it it'll be a lot of fun doing this together with her I, you know I like to go and get the materials whatever she wants I try to go and find for her and she's the design you know she's she's the one that knows how to build and so I just try to keep her fed keep her building and in the end we both have a great time but uh, we have a community that we've played together and combined resources together and that's a long ways away that's the pink that's the pink waypoint that I have set up here this is where all the uh, things that let me you know forge and do everything else are located at so looks like I can get right through there but I doubt it actually matters if I can yeah, I can, but I'm not going to. Just want to stay in the open water where... Oh, look at all that coal down there. All down there. You can see it in the rock wall. There's some more down there. Oh, if you turn more than 90 degrees, you stop your progress. And I did that. How dare I. If I start to get too low on food, then I'll go ashore and always been able to find something. Maybe not right away, but always have been able to find something. So the different colors of the water, that right there would be fresh, and all of this would be salt water. That little bit right there is fresh, or a mixture. So you can't use that water for farming. Because your crops won't grow in salt water. It'll kill them. Dead. There's a your fluffy impression for the day. Probably eventually build a highway to go between these two places, but we'll see. The water's not a bad highway, and the speed is not bad, and especially the energy consumption is lower than me running. So that's also a consideration. But one thing's guaranteed when you're on the water, for the most part, you're never going to find anything. So I do prefer traveling on the land. In fact, I'm going to go over here just to uh, seek out some food. Wanting to pull up somewhere around here. Oh, crap. Uh, see, I've been able to get back on the raft, and other times I haven't been able to get on the raft. Probably mostly when I'm panicking, I can't get on the raft. terrible host I'm sneaking in ice cream bites of ice cream as I'm recording with you and I'm not sharing with you 
That makes me bad. Well, this is not a lot of land right here. I, I see now. This might not have been the best place to come ashore. I don't mind collecting cattails and their roots, though. And I don't mind cooking up some cattail roots, either. But I'd like to collect the cattail and their roots and replant some of these cattails where we're setting up uh, our home. Because you'll... you always need a supply of cattails. Hopefully I can find something more than cattail roots to eat. But if I'm really hungry, I probably shouldn't be cutting cattails. Unless I plan on eating some of the roots. The problem with cattail roots is they take so long to cook. And there really isn't a lot of nutritional value, but keep you from starving. But you have to be patient. It takes time to cut them down. It takes time to cook them. It takes time to chop down a tree and start a fire. It just takes time. And all the time, you're losing more and more of your food nutrition. But the good news for me is that I'm starting this before I'm actually starving, so hopefully I won't lose any health in the process. All right, this tree looks like he's all by himself, so I'm going to take him. Oh, I've got maple already. Well, that's okay, because I specifically want some more of this. Cut me a piece of grass. Just for safety, I'm going to break some grass around it so it doesn't catch fire, which I've never seen the fire pit catch anything on fire. So you put a piece of grass down, four logs, put in the stuff you want to cook, get out a torch or a fire starter. And light your fire pit. That was probably a waste because I'm probably just going to pick it right back up because I'm going to collect these vines. Not like it's difficult to throw away a piece of grass, however. Big fan of the rope lanterns. Big fan of uh, having rope when you need it. to get rid of that again. Okay, well, we've got six to eat, and they're 100. Well, actually, that is pretty good sap. All things considered, that's a lot better than berry bushes. Or berries, berry bushes. I don't know how to eat their berry bush, but I love the fruit from them. There's no nutritional value, but there is satiation, which fills this bar and keeps you from taking penalty from being hungry. So this will get me a full bar. left over.
there we are. Well, this wasn't what I was expecting to do when I came over here, but this is great. That is to say, I figured I'd find something else, but absolutely perfect. And just from talking with Ash, this is probably something I want to collect more of was the bald cypress while I'm here so and maybe I'll collect more roots to take home who knows so let's collect more bald cypress sure how I got those transposed, but happened somehow, I guess. So Ash and I have only shared a base one time, and that was recently on the Symphony server, also on Aura Fury. And we were both really pleased with the results. It wasn't the best playing time for Ash. She had a lot of things going on. And so she didn't get to play as much as she wanted to. But uh, she built a beautiful place. And I was happy to supply her with whatever she wanted. She'd fill out the shopping list and I'd go try to fill it. So the way I'm doing this, I'm not even trying to get any seeds. So I'm not being a good citizen, I guess. Actually, I'd, I like the seeds just because I like to replant them where I want them. But right now, I'm just kind of being single-minded right now. Just thinking about my immediate needs. Not really thinking future. And this is nowhere near our home, so it's not like uh, I'm depleting anything that's going to uh, directly affect us. And I would never think, oh, let's go there for bald cypress. This is just what I stumbled across. Currently there are no players here, so... that way. We are getting quite a lot of cypress. This is awesome. Bald cypress.
off. I was trying to head back to my chest and really went the wrong way. That's all I have to take right now. So I gotta look out like that. All right, I did it the first time. I'm so proud of myself or something. I do love the sound of this. This is great. What a fantastic way to travel. That's interesting, that white down there. I'd like to see what that is. Hopefully the water is stationary enough to where I get off my boat and I'll be able to get back on it. Yeah, it's that white right there that I'm looking for. Come on, wolf. Don't ask me why I want to go down there and see it. Oh. Okay. Well, that was easy. It was unintentional, but it was easy. And I was successfully able to get back on my raft, so yay. Am I over it? Looks like I'm pretty much over it. Let's find out. Oh, I had a lantern, but now I don't have a lantern. So I can't. I can go down there, but I won't be able to see things as you just saw. Maybe I'll... Dang it. Somehow I keep touching number two instead of being right where I'm at. Which is unintentional. But then I'm distracted because I'm eating ice cream. <laughs> wow, you make good progress on these little rafts. It's fantastic. It's 
So I'm hoping to come up here and work my way through here, all the way to here. Heck, I could just maybe traverse this and then ride this lake down and... I don't know whose bridge that is, but there is something that I need to fix on that bridge. But we'll not talk about that. We don't talk about Bruno. Or something. So this is me going, well, yeah, I'll be going a little bit north of where the base is, but no big deal. The rift underwater. Oh, now it's come to the surface, but it did form underwater. I've only seen that once before, and that was on this server, actually. But I was on a different raft. Absolutely loving the sound of this. Although I do have the audio for the game turned down a little bit. It's coming through really loud and clear for me. this way a bit. Gotta get out the sea charts and plan your navigation. These are uncharted territory for me. Get through this little narrow part and it's going to open wide up again. is a nice speed. Apparently where I'm heading is up this hill way. Definitely beats trying to get through impassable hills, but as you notice, I'm not finding copper, I'm not finding berry bushes, I'm not finding lead, I'm not finding anything. So if you're traveling the water, you're not finding resources, but that's not my goal right now. A very specific goal, which is get to our community center. I've got food to uh, survive on for the journey, and there'll be berry bushes that I can pick there, but I want to make some things. Oh, there's a wolf. I don't really want to tangle with him. Is that a wolf up there? That's another wolf. Uh-huh. Gonna give him wide leeway. He surely knows I'm here. That looks like a pig. So 
So I'm going almost exactly where I want to go, the direction I should say that I want to go. Because I'm going to come up here and get on the land and try to cross as little of it as possible to get to another water body. Exactly where I want to be heading. Is that or that raccoon? Oh! Uh, I don't want to mess with that guy. You just killed that raccoon or rabbit, whatever it was. Okay, stay away from the bear. I, that's another thing about traveling in the water. You don't find the resources, but you also don't have the predators, right? So this isn't the direction I want to be going. I want to be going slightly this direction. Oh, goodness. Huge sneeze. Down here's a body of water. I don't think I'm going to get into it because I actually am faster on foot. I think. I feel like I am. But if I get a big... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm heading for is that big, big lake there. Not this one, because that's not a lake, let alone a big one. It's the one that I can see coming up on the map. This thing. I can't put in the water because it... Mouth closes. Mouth closes. Unhappiness prevails. I don't want to go to the rift and the drifter. I mean, if I can enter the water, why can't I put a raft on it, I wonder. I'm, I'm really not happy with... I'm not picking up any of Rolly's stuff. Uh, I find this really annoying. Not that Rolly has this claimed. But this is how the game is reacting to the claim. I can't see how I shouldn't be allowed to put my boat into a lake that's within someone's claim. I'm, I'm trying to comprehend how that makes sense. Now yeah, there's a bridge over here. I wonder whose bridge this is. I don't actually care. I don't understand why I can't raft on somebody's water. Pretty hard to actually claim water. I mean, realistically. Oh, I'm in Rolly's land. Never mind what an idiot I am. And don't mistake me. I'm not upset that Rolly's got this all claimed. That's got nothing to do with it. We all get the freedom to claim what is not claimed. If it isn't claimed, you get to claim it. Just like I have. Speaking of which, I need to add another claim. I also assume that 
there's a cellar somewhere here at the community, but I can't find it. I see that in the forge, there's some kind of something below it. But I can't see how to access it. Yeah, I'm the idiot that put the, the high fertility dirt here, but I don't know where I got it from. I was just digging up dirt randomly. Oh, it looks like we've got some players here. Who do we have? Quentin and Oswin. So I want a hammer, chisel, what else do I want? Hi Quentin. Hi, Oswin. should come fix this mistake that happened by my hand somehow. So I'm going to put dirt that I don't care about down below the high fertility soil so that when I break it, it falls in the river and I don't care. What I do care about falling into the river is the high fertility soil. So I'm going to make this three wide anyways. Of course, the first person that was on after the mistake happened was Shantan, so that's good. She didn't give me too much of a too much grief about it. You all better be falling where I'm picking you up. Oh my gosh, wolf. Come on, man. Control your keys. Press the right one. Engage your brain. Okay. I'll try. I hate wasting all this this way, but you don't waste high fertility soil.
I'm hoping nobody's really watching me do this. I just assume no one find out about it. But once again, it's a mystery to me what happened. Where did the high fertility soil come from that got placed? Oh my gosh. Okay. I have enough soil to finish the bridge now. Let us do put this away, please. Yeah. Hey, Wolf. how's it going? Good, how are you? Alright. You guys pick a spot, did you? Uh, Ashantan and I, we did. And it's farther away than I want it to be, but one of her desires was to have a place that was extremely low on rainfall. So we got that. But we are... 13,000 some blocks away. Not 13, no, no. We're at 13,000 something south. 13,000 blocks yeah. away? Yeah. Or 1,500, something like that. Anyways, yeah. So she wanted, she, she expressed an interest in sandstone, so I looked. Oh, is that that little sandstone patch down there? Well, we went and looked at that today, but that's not where we're at. I, d I walked that whole length and breadth of uh, of of that sandstone or that patch, and didn't find any place suitable. So I don't know if anybody's tried it yet, but I've I haven't tried to build a dam, but I have tried to make out a little jetty so that when I come up on my boat and I get off my boat, my boat doesn't sail out to the ocean. And so huh. I built that, and then I tried to build it all the way to the bottom of the river. Oh, good luck. But here's the interesting thing about the rivers. If you just isolate a block, that block contains full flow that the river has. It doesn't change because it's isolated. Huh. So, it's going to be interesting. You might be able to mess around with something, you mean? Get, like, a transportation, or...? Well, I'm saying that I don't know how we're going to build dams. I don't know how we're going to dam the rivers, because when you go underwater, you know... Oh, it doesn't care? It doesn't... Yeah, the current might even be faster under the water. I don't know, but trying to place the blocks in such a current... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... I mean... I've had some smallest success, but I've ended up with a gigantic pile of mess on the surface and not achieved what I wanted to subsurface. Yeah. See that? Yeah, the rivers are mess. All right. Oops. The tax move. Yuck. What's it called? A vertical rack? Vertical rack for the molds, yes, it's called a vertical yeah. rack. Three I planks. Just look, I just look up rack. Rack is what I look for. Yeah, I do that too, but it's not a sufficient search. Mm. 
You gotta scroll down. I got it. All right. So what am I gonna move? Uh, oh, I can move this barrel. So one thing in the area that we're at is, my golly, we have lead. Yeah, there's lead here too, quite a bit, Galena. It seems to be in the conglomerate area. Well, we're sandstone, where we're kind of sitting up, so... Sedimentary. It's all good. Oh, we have an extra temporal here. Is, is, the, right. sh is the Shanton feeling... This chest. Is the Shanton feeling the Molybdachakis pull again? <laughs> she always feels that, just like I always feel the cornflower pull, right? I'm a cornflower collector. That's why there's so many cornflowers around here in the chess, because I collected them all. I, guess I, need a I cannot, I cannot pass up on a cornflower. I guess clothes can go in textiles, right? Sorry, I'm just sorting. <laughs> Why not? They're textiles. They are. Clearly. The leather, maybe not, but it's going in there anyways. <laughs> I love that there's a windmill here. It's great for the quern. It's not so good for the health hammer yet, but I did get that one. That worked pretty good, actually. We I did about 20 plus, I would say. This morning, like without any, it's yeah. just you have to be lucky with the wind. Right, I did. I did. Uh, I did make. Uh, I did process oh. one iron bloom, you know, along with me using my hammer, right? So, and then I just pounded them the rest by hand because there just wasn't enough wind. I mean, it barely, it barely blipped. So, uh, I'd tell you where we're located, but I don't have the coordinates. But it's it's something like eight hundred by Shanton not, not fourteen thousand. Six sixty by thirteen four seventy two right now. Okay, that's good. minus six sixty. Cool. Way in the black for me, I haven't explored that area. Well, you if you get on the right river it's a pleasant journey, but there's no river to come back, so a raft is your best friend. Oh, you found a river going south again? Yes. Yes, we did. But it's not it's not close to here, but you know, that's okay. I noticed there is something underneath the forge. Is that or a cellar under there or Yeah, that's the cellar. How do you get Although, it? Uh it's a Chisel door. You just right click on the hatch. The well, little thing on the floor is a hatch. All right, I'll take another look. I mean, I saw the chiseled, <laughs> the chiseled decorative chest that doesn't look like a chest, but. Uh... Oh yeah, that's my chisel tool chest. Okay, so I saw. <laughs> that's where okay, I keep all my. I see. I see. I see. Wow, yeah. that is well disguised. Here's a, a pro tip for this build: if you make the decorative vessel. Yeah. It doesn't need a cellar, apparently. <laughs> wow. That's I awesome. might fix that eventually if I can figure out what I did wrong. But I just copied the vessel and added the rendering part for chisel block. Cool. Oh, the other thing I'm going to do that, uh, that Vela or Scant Lobster did on another server is we actually chiseled... Uh, like for the vessels, we put the blocks in with a little picture that showed what's in there. Oh, wow. Like a pile of grain or meat. It was really cool. Uh, I told you. Is it chiseled that onto it, you mean? Well, because it's a chisel, it's a decorative vessel that can hold a chisel block for its shape. Oh, That's cool. did you notice I was going to suggest a slight change to your forges? The uh, first ingot interferes with Z fighting. With yes, I noticed that. Just put coal in there and ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes, I did notice that. Actually, these need to be fixed. They're, it's actually a two-tone model. 
but when I made them, I didn't have any block. All right, where am I going to put this? The miscellaneous is for, oh wait, that can go out. Can go out. Darn it, there's plants. Okay. It's almost, oh yep. no, the plant bucket's full. No. Inventory, uh, a constant struggle. What is the temperature right there, right now? Who are you asking? Quentin, he's, I'm oh. assuming he's in the show. Uh, it's 19.2 degrees. Okay, this is 9 degrees cooler. I think the other one might be better. It was 20-something, and when I went up there, it was only 4 degrees. Yes. I'll let Target know. Where is this river? Okay, yeah, there's the river. So the river south starts somewhere around 600-ish by less than 12,000-ish. And that goes south, and that'll take you all the way out and spit you into an ocean. Yeah, really likes the six hundred by twelve thousand. Yeah, just just north of yeah, just a little above. It's black. I don't see exactly where it starts, but that's the river that I came and met her at, and we got on and went all the way down to the base. So, so far, the best way to come back is via the ocean, but uh, hopefully we'll... Well, I definitely like building roads, so that's well, a thing. Well, the rivers to... Obviously, the rivers over here to the east flow north. Flow north, which is interesting. Because that's the direction to the ocean there. Well, there's that. Oh, that big ocean to the east of where... Uh, she is in her little port there in the desert. Oh, you're actually able to see her. Cool. I've, I've, no, not a Shanton. Um, oh, okay. Lone, lobster or whatever. Okay. I gotcha. Because I came back. I, uh, Quentin told me where to go to find um, limestone, and I came back a different route because I was like, well, I haven't explored this area. Might as well come back a different route. Because mm -hmm. I literally ran for like, 2,000 blocks through frickin' jungle and Jungles. dodging bears and wolves snakes. and... <laughs> no, no snakes. We're not far enough south there for snakes. There wouldn't be snakes. <laughs> oh, thank goodness we don't have that mod on. Every time you pick snakes. up a, a stick, a snake sh shivers, you know, slithers out and it's like, okay. What does mm -hmm. this help the game with? That's cool. There's snake. Mm-hmm. It probably is. I just didn't think so. But it probably is. Huh. I've been, when I clean out a basket now, I cut it back into reeds so I don't sort it again later. <laughs> they seem to work their way back out. <laughs> Everybody but me probably knows this, but you cannot place a raft onto a body of water within someone's land claim. I'm just oh, trying to. Right. I'm just no, trying to I raft across the water. Guess. Yeah, I came because Rolly's claim, as you know, is pretty dang big, and yes. uh, it's about ten square miles. Yeah, so yeah, I was crazy. I was trying to get on. You know, I planned my route. Oh, I'll come up the ocean, and then I'll. Head head east, and and then there's a, some Finger Lakes, you know. So I'll go get on one of those. And I went to place my raft, and it's like, no, this is Rolly's claim. And I thought, what does that got to do with placing a raft on the water? I'm not altering his it, claim in any anything, way. Anything. I'm trying to leave the claim. Exactly. <laughs> so that was that was something new. I thought I'd share. Oh, nice bridge. Thank you, someone. Does this have a claim on it? I hope. PB Killer. All right. Well, I found PB Killer's base. Yeah, he's on the river there. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I started doing a bit of a build, but... Well, I still a bit early for doing big builds. I found a place east that I thought Shanton might like. And it is sandstone, but... It wasn't... She Well, she didn't come over. I described it to her, and it clearly wasn't what she was interested in, which was perfectly fine. My feelings weren't hurt at all. Actually, they weren't. They weren't. But it wasn't anything personal to me. But I did have four linen sacks ready for her when she joined, so... Bonus. Yeah, I have... I don't have those yet. I have hunter backpacks in one linen sack. I found a linen sack in a ruin. Well, that's fantastic. Nice. Yeah, with the better runes, I found, like, I had leather backpack in my first hour or two, the one time I started up a game, because I found them in runes. Leather. Not this time. I think they've really toned down the the amount of uh, runes, which is good, because they're pretty overpowered. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I completely agree. It got filled back in. Beers got restocked. By the way, I absolutely love your forge that you built, Quinton. <laughs> I do. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's functional. I'm glad that it's been altered so you can get it out of the door a little bit easier, but yeah, I love it. Oh, well, yeah, that was early date. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know that's yeah, you know, th that was not criticism. That was gratitude being strong. I'm I'm glad it got altered a little bit. Yeah. Well, five more Mediterranean Cypress Street seeds. Cool. Well, the reason I have all the linen sacks is because I'm using the whole exploit on the mature flax on dirt. Yeah. Yeah, I just was reminded about that. I actually have a a hoe in my inventory now. <laughs> Good job. My first one just broke. Can you imagine? I am so embarrassed. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. I found in my portfolio all the, the bathroom blocks. <laughs> I don't know if I'll rebuild that this time. <laughs> you have more hides that need to be processed? Oh, it's just a local one. It's called the Doghouse. Nice. Yeah, but those are the best. Oh, it's it's been here since the 60s. Yeah, if it's a dive, I'm interested in it. And oh, yeah, it's totally. I mean, that's, it's, that, it's, that's the bed food, best It's food. a roadside restaurant on the Trans-Canada Highway. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. That's usually Maybe what it is. I remember going down through... I think we went down... We were going down to California or something with a group of people. We stopped through, like, Eugene, Oregon or something. Yeah. And we stopped at a little place just tucked away. And they literally had omelets that were, like, the size of the plate. Like, it was, you know, the size... Of, and then you fold it in half. Well, this is the end of the episode. I want to thank you for spending your time with me, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun making it and playing it. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing to my channel. And for all of those who already have, I thank you so much. If you like this video, please click on the like button. I'd love to hear from you, so please post comments on my videos. I'll likely respond and uh, be kind about it, too. As always, come watch the next episode with me, won't you? Thank you so much, and goodbye.